So this common misconception is a testing. Truth about testing. Testers do not ensure quality. Fail tests only confirm faults. It's never personal and test plans isn't testing and anybody can do testing. So these are some misconceptions, right? So let's like take a look at them, right? Tests do not ensure quality. Number of bugs determined, the number of bugs, okay, this is pretty important. So I'm gonna repeat this. The number of bugs are determined during coding, not during testing, okay? The bugs are already in there. Testing only reveals the bug. So anybody who tells you differently, they're called a coder. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But the idea is, the bugs are already there, right? What you're trying to do is you're trying to help the system. This quality is baked in the product. It's already been built. Well, depending on how you look at it. But the idea is, the code has already been written. The bugs aren't, are there. Whether you find them or not is not, just because you didn't find it doesn't mean it didn't exist, okay? So that's kind of important. So, you know, I talked about this one, about writing test cases to get bugs fixed. Well, finding an issue still needs to have it fixed if that's so important. So uh, you should keep that in mind as a tester, right? Yeah, sure, you found the bug. Are you doing anything to be, you know, Gandhi said, like, are you being the influence that you want to be in the world, right? Are you being the change that you want to happen, right? So be that change, right? So as a tester, try to write your bugs, as, uh, test reports and, and test bugs as much as possible to help this. If you have some little bit of debugging information, add it in there because the idea is the goal is to help fix things, right? Um, reducing tests does not improve quality, it just, reduces the number of bugs you find, right? And, and, and but it's better for testers, but it's not necessarily better for customers. Does that sort of what I'm saying? So yeah, sure, you didn't find so many in your port and you sent that to your executive level and you found less bugs, but it doesn't mean the bugs were baked in there already, right? So this one is quite important too. So failed tests only confirm, com tests only really kind of confirm faults, right? So test cases are specific and limited. So there's infinite, so what I've had is the idea here is like, if I find one bug, I will tell you that the system is broken. If I run a thousand tests and they all pass, I can't tell you that there are no bugs. Does that make sense? Right? So the any time, the way we tell us in mathematics, the idea is, you know, one negative connotation can basically say, I can put a proof, I can prove that that's wrong, right? But I have to kind of go out of my way to prove something's positive. In testing is that world, it's actually kind of a little different. It, you'd need an infinite number of tests, an infinite amount of time to prove something is 100% working. Okay, but I only need one test to tell you that you've got a bug, right? Potent one high level priority bug to say you can't ship something, okay? So how does that kind of look like in the whole picture? Okay, so, so imagine this whole circle is code, right? So these little red dots are bugs. Remember, they're baked in the system when they're coded, right? The idea is you can run these test cases. Now, they're kind of like, if I throw them against the wall, if I had infinite amount of mud or whatever to throw against the wall, I can cover the whole set, right? But reality, I don't, right? So what I want to do is I want to try to, you know, some test cases have large covers, some have small. The idea is I want to kind of spread them all out and my goal is to try to find these bugs here knowing that I can't cover the whole circle. So that sort of make sense? Questions about that? <laughs> spy versus spy here, but the idea is here, it's never personal, right? So this is one of the ones as a tester, you somehow have to sort of remind sometimes the developers and that, that, you know, it's this customer that's important here. It's not me versus you, it's about the customer. You know, testers and developers have to work together and it's a bug or it's not a bug. You can debate that idea. Probably the more important question when you kind of talk to developers, it's like, yeah, will it be fixed or not? You can, you can give on this one, right? This is the one that's sort of more important phrasing, okay? People kind of get caught up on that. Is it a bug or something? And lastly, you know, a test plan is sort of not testing. This is kind of cool. You should have a test plan. This is, I'll talk a little bit about, again about this later, but the idea is that, you know, in the end of the world, testers do the testing. In this case, the tester could be an automated test, but the idea is the tester does the testing. So, you know, even testers write the automated script sometimes, but the idea is that you may have um, this test plan, you know, and you have two testers. In the end of the day, usually they sort of have some type of coverage. But the idea here, we'll see this in another slide, that, that you know, it's that combination that, 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 that really comes out with a result. You have a test plan or some idea or some test case, and you have the tester, and you usually come with a result. I can tell you 100% validity right now, I can tell you this, that, that peop, you will get different results running the same test case with two different individuals. I've seen it time and time again on a on a team, okay? So just be aware of that. Like, yes, you, if maybe if you're a test leader or something like that, you're creating a test suite, you're creating a test plan, you create it and you have an idea of what might be run, somebody might read that and run a totally different case, right? So the idea is 
testing, kind of know this realm is know that you know it, it's a combination of the tester itself and the test plan are really what's going to give you kind of results. So I have this kind of cute slide here. Here it says anybody can test. This is one of the last misconception I'm going to talk about. No, no, that's not exactly true. Testing takes technical thinking, a level of technical, especially our world in software. It takes a creative thinking. It also takes critical thinking, and it takes very practical. <coughs> Testers are usually very practical people because, you know, having a test that I can't run, I might as well just throw it up. Okay, so that's the first one. So we can just take a, like a five-tenant break.